Greetings. Let me know if you can hear me. There is nothing like you. Greetings. Let me know if you can hear me. I guess I can hear myself. <laughs> How are you doing, Frog Box? Okay, wonderful. <laughs> I'm just dropping in to say hello to everybody. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. 
Jayla. Hey. I'm not searching for any shenanigans at the moment. <laughs> These things can be emotionally draining. I mean, I don't let these stories get to me. It's just the English is horrible sometimes. <laughs> so it takes a lot of energy to actually try to not change things so much to where it's not the person and then at the same time try to get the nasty story across so I hope I'm doing a good job at that and sometimes people repeat themselves over and over again I'm doing wonderful Jayla I'm blessed uh, the sun is shining I feel good drama free <laughs> and I'm not the OP or the character in this story or any one of them I'm happy you guys decided to join me I know this is random super random let me know if you hear an echo <laughs> yes, Frog Fox, living my best life. I hope you all are enjoying this little mini series with the shenanigans, the twins, the cat, the crazy lady. <laughs> I hope you're living your best life. Oh my gosh, does it ever end? No, it seems like every time I go to make a video, it just gets longer and longer. And I myself, I'm like, when is this gonna be over? And then OP says, like she's tired of people asking when her story is going to be over. So I'm actually thinking like maybe she's dragged this all out. But then again, the story has actually recently happened in her life. You know, in the actual like setting, the period of time when she actually posted. It was fresh for like her story is like fresh for like two weeks or something. So it's not like this happened a long time ago. This is super recent, unfortunately. So everything's fresh and she's snapping on people in the comments, you know, and saying she's not a bad person, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> He said, my voice is very soothing <laughs> despite these horrid antics. Oh my goodness. I appreciate the compliment because when I read it, I feel like when I listen to it back, I'm like, do I sound drunk? <laughs> or do I sound just like, I don't know. It just, and then when I listen to the story back, I'm like, this is really messed up. You know, reading it is different to, to like listening to it, you know? And then I try not to put like too much crazy music in the background or anything. I don't want it to be quiet at all because there's some hiccups with the audio. But at the same time, I just, I want to set the tone because there's a lot of things going on emotionally but I feel like OP is not very emotional if you know what I mean so like when I narrate I try not to fluctuate my voice too much to because that would just be totally unbelievable I think to me it's like her affair partner and her husband have way more emotions than her you know
Jayla, you said OP shouldn't have posted her story because she's a terrible person. Like, what did she really expect? I mean, she, I think she's literally somebody who, if she could hide it, she would have. It's just that she's married and still sleeping with her husband, obviously. And she said that they were separated but i guess they were still hitting the sheets you know so it's not something she could absolutely hide from anybody it's a life-changing event unless she decided to not go through with her pregnancy but she's living out loud now so rather than go to the most important people in her life of course she went to a forum <laughs> because she needs validation Although she might not say that or, but you can kind of see how pompous she is with the comments that she makes, you know, like she knows she's going to get half of her husband's property. And, but at the same time, she's talking about how much of a great job she has. It's like, really, how much do you really have? And how great is your real, your job actually it is? Because for all we know, she works at a fast food restaurant and got promoted or a call center, right? You People get promoted in all types of jobs. And that's not to disregard that people work hard in those sectors, but I'm just saying, she's acting like she's literally in some top job in corporate America, but her husband makes way more than she does. And her head is not all there. You know, to be someone in a top position in corporate America, you can't be so careless. You have an image to uphold. Even people who do cheat, like they keep it on their wrap, especially women. The thing is when women cheat, it's kind of hard to hide it when you get knocked up, you know? But yeah, Jayla, <laughs> totally. And Jack, you said stories like this make you realize that people have the uncanny ability to justify anything to themselves. I'm telling you, and they don't even try so hard to convince you. <laughs> they just utter those words as if they are so sweet, but they are detrimental and just sharp, man. I just, I, I can't imagine what her husband must be going through, like the, the devastation. But at the same time, I, I just know he didn't think he was like, she was like an angel or something because there were signs already when they were in college. She traveled with AP to, a, to go to a concert several times. And you mean to tell me there was no skin to skin? I don't know about that. <laughs> Anthony, you said, can I get the number? The number to what? <laughs> Maybe to how many times she cheated? frog box you said money may get a woman's compliance but not her respect absolutely you're right and it's so sad because um the way she's acting is as if she's the real breadwinner when she makes less and I feel like you know what I think her husband is just so great at what he does and his job and in his life with people and that there's jealousy she knows she can never get up to his standards and she complained about him having standards with things just in life in general and and his job and his performance and she said oh I take my job seriously I'm a high performer at work, like girl, but are you a high performer in life and in your relationship? No. It's really sad. And someone asked for the, you know, the, like the link to the post and you know the person's username and it's like I'm not gonna give her information out like that I mean even though you guys can find this story out there in the internet world 
the whole purpose of me making these videos is not for people to go after her or even for people to hate her. It's for people to understand the thought process, the mindset of people like her. And no, all women aren't like this, duh. Just like all men are in a certain way. But at the same time, stop denying that women aren't like this like they don't do things like this and if you live in the united states the whole system is set up in a way where when an unfortunate situation like this happens the man is just like kicked to the curve and seen as just disposable and it's sad TKV said my channel always has such wild stories <laughs> you're glad that YouTube algorithm gifted you <laughs> bless bless <laughs> but I'm happy that for the most part I've seen a lot of logical comments you know where people actually share insight on red flags like one thing somebody said on one comment was something about trickle truth do anyone know a lot of information about trickle truth or just like habits of cheaters where sometimes people become blind and sometimes when they tell you let's say they're telling you a truth right something that is truth Oh my gosh, what is this other word? Equivocation. It's like truth, but not the whole truth. Like the manipulation that goes into cheating, like after they've cheated, when they're done cheating or during cheating, just how they try to sell them things themselves as if they're a package or something. Like I feel like she's literally still trying to sell herself when it's like, you're not on the market anymore you are knocked up and she still is acting like she has options like the other man my husband i love him he loves me oh i don't think he loves me like she has a lot going on and it's sad because she's the oldest child yet she act like someone who never learned their lesson and she doesn't even care because her parents told her not to go to her husband's house. Yet and still, she went there. And when she went there, she tried to act like he was some crazy drunk and tried to paint some picture like, oh, he drinks all the time. He uses drinking as an emotional crutch. It's like, that is the mindset of somebody who would call the police and say like, oh, he's hurting me, he's hurting me, when, <laughs> guys get the point like how she's setting the tone for people to be upset at him and then she said oh he's not prone to violence this was like in video one he's not prone to violence after he after she told him about the affair that she's pregnant and everything I told him I'm pregnant by the way he's not prone to violence why would you need that to be a side note for us like what kind of picture are you really trying to paint of this man like this is an assassination of his character when she said none is perfect what matters is if you're just you're just evil enough to twist the knife for your own desire and twisted pleasure tell me about it Jack said, I have the mindset that all women are capable of this. Absolutely. <laughs> We're human beings. We're capable of like anything. So I guess when men are dating, if only they had higher standards, because at the end of the day, it's the woman that can say yes or no right that's how society that's what society want us to believe but men can say yes or no as well you don't have to just settle for some bum like have standards 
if you want someone who you want her to be a housewife, that's one thing. And if you want someone who you want her to be working, that's another. Have some class, have some standards. Like just don't go putting your seed in any and every hole. <laughs> You're gonna end up with a dud. Yeah, lying by omission is trickle truth, frog box. Facts. <laughs> when slayer prenuptial agreements should be required for marriage. I mean, the, the whole system in the US regarding the legalities of marriage is something else. But at the same time, if only people were educated about their rights and be self-empowered, but also have some self-respect because there is a lot of people that have a lot of assets in different places, right? And it's a shame once they get in a relationship with this one person that just holds on to their mind they lose it all imagine how many people lost everything to somebody who they thought they loved and trusted and then found out the children aren't even theirs and then this person is gonna get everything they work for in life it's devastating and they wonder why people are angry in society because of bad relationships. Ralph, I'm not sure which state this person is from, but it could be a conservative one, perhaps. And even if I knew, I just probably wouldn't say anything. I mean, I honestly don't know, but I just want to keep some things, I guess, at a minimum with this story. Because <laughs> I know she's uh, she's already getting, she's getting it. She's getting it in, in her comments and under her posts and everything. Like, people are coming for her because they know she's full of bleep bleep <laughs> I hope I'm saying your name right winch or is it winchy because <laughs> when I look at it I actually want to say winchy winchy <laughs> you said Jack do not paint everyone in a with the same brush if I were to do that I should hate it Nick. Oh, I see what you're saying. Everybody is not the same. Let's see. Blame shifting and what aboutism? Yeah, some states are at fault. When she said close enough. <laughs> so do you guys, do you guys think I should end the story there? What do you think? Serious, serious feedback. And, and leave it so that people would just imagine what happened or what it's, what's happening. Cause I'm sure it's still happening in her life or their lives. Yeah, they will never end good. You know, and it's, it's crazy because I was thinking about her affair partner's family. You know, the, the little girl, the mom, and how she must be feeling in this situation just i mean her heart is in pieces and you guys can tell from 
what AP said that she told him not to touch her, not to talk to her. Like, I can just imagine her anger is on 10. Like, she just enraged, you know? And he was sleeping with her too as well, I'm sure. So imagine, he was dipping in her and dipping in the other woman, like messy you know and now her soul is like tied to the OP soul and it's just toxic and I can't imagine how her body is reacting to that imagine she's just now swapped DNA with OP (laughs) you know and as a woman like the emotional side of things you know Like her husband who, yeah, they had a rocky relationship, but, you know, still being intimate and letting this person into your life and then to find out you've let this person in your temple and they've been in other temples. Oh, man, it's all bad. (laughs) Hold on, Ralph. There's a comment, Ralph Thompson. There's a comment you put know if I should show it <laughs> you said keep going until somebody dot 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 I'm not gonna say that word <laughs> I don't know if I should show that message because YouTube <laughs> censorship right Jack they're capable of it and Our society has made us to believe that we aren't like that, you know, that we just are, can do nothing wrong. We're always taking care of everybody. We're always there for people. (laughs) And I mean, people who, let's say people who grew up with toxic mothers, toxic mothers who were married or single parents and they were just toxic women they exist and they do bad I mean as a woman me growing up around women girls women teenagers I've heard it all I've heard scamming stories constantly running scams on men constantly leading them on and not really going to be serious with them them wanting to be with a bad guy rather than the good guy i've heard it all like oh he's just too nice to me i want someone to slap me around a bit and call me to be <laughs> like what the heck <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that are just simply nuts and yes be warned These stories are warnings. You've been married since 1971. Wow. That's amazing, Ralph. Winslayer, he said the only reason I wanted to get married is to have four kids and you want a lot of them. wow okay that's cool i mean but have you ever thought about you know when you make those kids because imagine some people can't ever make kids because they're too busy arguing all the time so if you're not very compatible i mean people have children with partners that aren't compatible all the time but is compatibility a priority for you Yeah, congrats to Ralph. Have things become routine for you in your just like daily life? And this is how I personally feel that love doesn't necessarily keep people together. It's more so respect. Because when you have self-respect tend to have it for others extend it to others and that falls into the categories of 
morals and ethics, all of that jazz. Pablo, you said relationships aren't worthy. You want children, and there are, tr but there are ch plenty of children to adopt. And if you want a partner, just be a couple. No need for the marriage contract. Yeah, marriage in the Western world is it's all about paper, and I mean, the the idea of marriage across the world, across borders, is interesting in itself because if you go to some countries. They don't, they rarely go through court system regarding marriage. A lot of times people go through the religious route or the cultural route, okay? So just understanding that you guys will be partners in life and the families are witnesses is good enough. Or depending on your religion, you're satisfying a requirement that's part of your religion to be husband and wife, to reproduce, to make more people from your religion, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, and also the understanding of like your roles in society. There's no, there's hardly confusion among people outside of the US regarding, or I guess any Western nation regarding marriage. But when you come to the U.S., when it comes to the U.S., there is so much confusion because everyone is thinking that I'm this, I'm that, I'm equal, I'm equal. I don't even look at it that way. I look at it as everyone is here to serve a purpose. Everyone has a different role. I will never say that I am just like a man. <laughs> no, I'm a woman and I'm happy to be a woman. And I'm happy to be in my divine feminine nature, right? I mean, men and women are composed of feminine and masculine, but men are more masculine. Women are more feminine, depending on your levels of testosterone or estrogen. <laughs> I hope y'all get what I'm trying to say, but, and I don't want to offend anybody. That's just me though. Like, I'm cool. <laughs> in my femininity you know greetings ash fallen <laughs> how are you doing yeah i agree when be smart take it slow <laughs> make sure it's the right woman for you and if you have a family that can also kind of keep an eye on her as well and give you some insight, even if they say bad things, don't put it to the wayside. Like if they're just in you about this woman, like just listen, have an open mind because sometimes people can see things that you can't, especially when you're in love with this person or you're in that honeymoon stage. I mean, you can't look at things with rose-colored lenses all the time. Roses have thorns, right? <laughs> Something that's so beautiful can cut you. Avatar, <laughs> welcome. You said do a background check. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's so sneaky, but low-key. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'm low-key saying yes, yes, yes in my radar, but like publicly, I would be that person, like, no comment. Background check, no comment. Don't let them know if you're going to do that. But hey, I mean, we're all in, okay, like this technology age, a lot of us do background checks, like look people up on Facebook, do our detective work, trying to find who's friends with friends. So in reality, a lot of us are already doing background checks on people. <laughs> it's so normal. Everybody's like a detective. Everybody's like a doctor, a therapist, chef, everything these days. You can be whoever you want to be. But there's a lot of catfish going on. 
Oh, thank y'all so much. <laughs> right, life is not black and white. There's a lot of gray areas. And sometimes I'm just like, I have to think outside of the box and remember that everyone's mindset is not like mine. So like, I can't just snap on people and I can't just say, that's not right, that's wrong. Why would you say that? Because in reality, people's thought process, you have to consider where are they coming from? What's their background like? Think about OP, how her parents treated her when she was growing up. I feel like there's a lot of backstory to why she's the person that she is. And you see how her parents are like shaking her head at her. Like, I feel like she screwed up somewhere before. And they're not like totally surprised. Like her mother knew that her marriage wouldn't work out because they were not compatible, you know? Right, Pablo never ignore the red flags. It's just that, and I'm speaking in the American context, that when someone is dating someone, it's so open in the US. It's so open where you're not protected. You don't really have your family's protection. Whereas in a lot of other cultures, outside the US, like the family is very involved in who your mate will be. I mean, now you have do you have toxic families where they end up, they don't even care if you're compatible or not. They just want you to be with somebody who they know will be able to take you off of their hands, right? But I'm speaking for the part of the family that protects you when you decide to be with someone else, that it's not very strong in the US. You know, like some people wish they had someone to say that I don't think you guys would be a great fit. This is the kind of person you are and this kind of person they are because they've known you your whole life, right? They've known what things you can tolerate. And it's interesting because a lot of times from the beginning, some people will tolerate so much of the fuckery, right? And then when they actually get married to that person, somehow they become a nuisance. Somehow the nagging stars. And then they say, you're not the person that I thought I married. <laughs> and I would say, you're not the person that I thought I married. <laughs> what are some of the channels that I enjoy? I'm I, like, I'm seriously all over the place. I watch so much stuff. Can you believe I like watching documentaries? I love watching sometimes for comic relief, some comedy skits every now and then. Not like those TikTok comedy type channels or whatever. I just kind of skim through. And I love watching... You know what? I, I stick to movies a lot. Like older films. <laughs> I mean, films where when people kind of knew who they were. <laughs> if you get my gist, Jack. Because this whole new age stuff is like, it has my mind spinning. I'm like, I try to stay away from Twitter. I try to stay away from Instagram. You know, like, I just like watching like, classy old films like I like jazz type of thing if that makes sense but I don't really have someone who I stick to watching I oh I love watching travel channels because I myself like to travel so. um, and reading and stuff like I do real normal stuff in life honestly Ash you have a story you like to share in India, the cheating thing is like, oh yeah, in India, cheating is frowned upon. I think people used to get arrested before. And sometimes if your family found out you cheated, <laughs> I mean, they'll get real volatile with you. Cause you're like 
breaking up the family. Like, I mean, they take that seriously. You're giving the family a bad name. Like, and if you did cheat, people better not find out. Yeah, which that's true. Life is always a gamble no matter... Like, I know I went on a tangent, Jack. I'm like, I don't even remember people's YouTube names because I like I watch so many different people. Just skimming, though, you know. Yeah. Oh, but and of course I've seen Reddit channels and stuff too. Every now and then I might listen to a robot voice or something. Um, it's, it's just sometimes they all kind of sound the same after a while. <laughs> yeah, bless up, bless up, Ash. Avatar, she watches, I watch, oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, sometimes I do watch red pill content, but not as much as you think I do. I like I might put a comment here and there if something stands out. I love to see uh, women's perspectives towards different things. And but as far as the men's channels, I feel like like I don't comment much because I don't want to be that like person that's saying, "Hey, look at me because I'm a woman and I think this way. I'm cool." Oh, no way. <laughs> it's like y'all I don't care they don't care like nobody cares really what I think so like I don't waste my time because it's just like I just know who I am and I know my values in life and if I have somewhere to share my thought process that's why I have my own channel so I could share with people whoever's listening but it's not a big deal but so I don't really engage with those channels and stuff because I don't need someone to tell me how to think or point things out that I already see for myself if that makes sense I hope I don't sound full of myself y'all pardon me Ralph he said I have a story about what it is like to live a life where my father was a bigamist Really? All the times, you like watching videos of scammers getting new? <laughs> I've watched a few of those. Too much of it is, I need attention, very sad. Yeah. Windslayer, absolutely. Jack, he said, Agreed on the robot voice channels. Oh, oh, you know what? I've listened to True Story before. You said, but I think he's stuck in the hurt phase, which, be fair, it's an easy place to get lost in. Yeah, because I think he said, that, well, he initially started his channel because of something that he went through. Yeah, so I don't know where he's at emotionally, but I, I've watched a few, of, I've heard a few of his stories too as well. Okay, Ash, so if you go to my channel and go to the about section, it has where you can click on the little box to get my email there. And you know how YouTube has it in that space so that people don't just like spam. So yeah, it's on my About Me page on my channel. Oh wow, I'm sorry to hear that, Ralph. You left your mom and your siblings. Wow. Avatars, you said it's always some dude from India. What? <laughs> Oh, Cali Gula Bear, I've watched some detailed videos like recently because I want to detail my my own car. But um, I like watching stuff like that too, like how to, especially how to videos, how to do things with my own car. 
because actually my brother just made me feel so empowered when he showed me how to change my light on my car like my tail light what else he showed me how to change my battery and some other stuff where i'm just like okay i can get with this like because it's crazy how people don't want to learn how to take care of themselves or their cars you know things can happen anywhere so but yeah i like watching car videos too Pablo, you said true story is the man. Well, let's give true story a round of applause. True story, yeah. <laughs> you love bikes? Like Harleys and stuff? Or like <laughs> bicycles? <laughs> I was gonna say, okay. I've I've never ridden like a motorcycle on my own, but like I've been to different countries in Africa where they have these like moped type of bikes. Like I've ridden one of those, <laughs> but I'm not advanced. <laughs> oh, you used to race a lot. Hold on, like drag race. Uh-uh, Ash, where were you drag racing? I hope it was legal wherever you were doing it at. So I know in Philadelphia, they do some crazy stuff in California as well. Like, they have some crazy drag races. Oh, in Japan as well. Fast and Furious over here. <laughs> oh, you know what? I might watch some of those movies tonight or something <laughs> let me put that on my list of things to do because <laughs> it's like a non-depressing film to watch a series of non-depressing films oh and i hope everyone is like okay in their actual lives like you know when i ask y'all like how are you doing like i'm for real I hope you all are doing well and staying safe and everything and just like taking precautions to protect yourself and wash your hands. I like I had to tell someone in my family, wash your hands after you've touched the doorknob and you come inside the house or something, you come and go. They really didn't like believe they were one of those family members that just didn't believe you can get sick by not washing your hands and then touching your eyes and stuff. Hello, how is pink eye spread? I'm just like, <sighs> You wanna watch an old, watch old, new upcoming movie? <laughs> Can we get a best life? <laughs> I hope you're doing well wherever you're in the world. I hope you're living your best life. <laughs> I know that was so cringy. I feel like, you know how those Hollywood stars would be like, oh, people wanted to take a picture with me. I felt like that was a moment right there. <laughs> you carry your Billy Club avatars. <laughs> You are a mess. <laughs> you know what? I got to put an emoji on the screen for you. <laughs> and look, you know what? When you guys write your comment and I laugh, like I actually really laugh. <laughs> Some of your comments be out of this world. I feel like they just really say that. So I don't too much censor people in the comment section. Some people, some comments, oh, hey, if your comment disappears, YouTube probably deleted it because I'll look at my emails and see comments, but then they're not under the video and I read the comment and I'm like, yeah, I can see why YouTube removed it. <laughs> 
when she said I get flack for this but I am a woman and yes one of my favorite films are under siege oh my god you know what people are haters <laughs> oh my gosh you're you're worried about the cat <laughs> Caligula I know and you know what the thing about it is she didn't mention the cat until recently when she went back to the place like when they got in that whole he's drinking type of thing and he doesn't know what he's talking about she never mentioned the cat so at the time when she went to the hotel room and she stayed there for her several days she never once mentioned that oh hubby is taking care of the cat he's so sweet like she did not care about that cat meanwhile she was meeting up with ap in the hotel like i can't even steven seagal yes oh my gosh i used to watch him when i was growing up his movies and uh his martial arts was just bay i know that's a whole current modern term but yes his moves and everything like his little ponytail was everything yeah she took the cat <laughs> she took the cat like she could barely take care of herself how did she take the cat and remember her mom told her to go rest because she was feeling dizzy because she hadn't eaten eaten anything but remember her husband ordered her food and she was saying, I don't want to eat it. I'm sick. And then she's at her mom's house about to faint after she turned down her nice restaurant meal. Like, she's so shady. She's such a bleep bleep. Yeah, she, she's out of this world and um, her, it's like her personality is so dry. And I didn't put this in the, the recent video, but she said she has a friend at work that she would tell a lot of things to, but she actually kept the pregnancy from her friend at work. And she said she didn't want to say anything because she's sure that the information would slip out. <laughs> like eventually people are gonna know anyway. And I'm sure, come on now. Like, I bet people at her job know. I bet people, cause she told her workmate that she was having trouble in her marriage. So I bet, I bet she knew. She knew something else was going on and that this lady had stepped outside of her marriage. She's just embarrassed now. That's what that is. Yeah, definitely she's trying to play innocent. And then she's trying to act like the world is against her. Like she almost have like a rebel has a, a rebellious personality. Like if like I'm just imagining her voice in my head like how she would sound telling people this story is just and she seems very rude too like <laughs> get her a scarlet letter avatar <laughs> yeah she destroyed Ashfall yeah destroyed not one but two families I mean, and imagine, she said she's going to tell the twins, you know, how they were conceived. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder how that story is going to be narrated. crazy 
But yeah, you guys, so anyway, I just wanted to pop in to greet you all, but I'm gonna leave you where you're at, wherever you are in the world, whether it's day, evening, or night. A tutelar, arrivederci, adios, <laughs> sayonara. <laughs> it was nice chatting with everybody. And I know some people also speak different languages in here so hopefully you could understand my English very well bye